Joyful Guitars. My name is Chris. Behind the camera is Matt. As always, and I have been getting so many questions over the last year since we started this YouTube channel about this bad boy, my CNC machine. What kind of machine is it? What software do I use? Is it hard to learn? All of that stuff. And what we want to do in this episode is tell you guys why I was willing to spend $18,000 on this machine and why it's probably my most used asset in this shop and why if you have the means, you should probably do the same thing. So what we're going to do is I have to make some paint handles right here that we've been selling on our website. They've been going really great, but we need to make some more and we figured why not kill two birds here and make a video about the machine and make some paint handles at the same time. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, the first question to answer, and the easiest for me, is what kind of machine is this? Who makes it? And how big is it? And the answer to that is, it's an Avid CNC. Uh, the models that are out now actually have that written on them in a giant logo, and I don't have one of those because I bought this right when they switched from being a company called CNC Router Parts over to Avid CNC. So this was actually one of their first models that they put out with the Avid name. Why did I land on this particular CNC machine over other ones? Well, when I was interested in going to CNC route, I reached out to a buddy of mine that I hadn't talked to in years, but um, via social media I had seen that he had gotten into the game of uh, making things out of wood on CNC machines, and he'd been doing it for years, and he had had uh, three or four CNC machines, so I said, hey, let's talk on the phone, and uh, I gave him a call, and I said, if you could do it all over again, what machine would you buy? I only want to buy this thing once, and what would you recommend? And he said, oh, that's easy. It would have been a CNC router parts uh, machine, which, once again, is called Avid CNC now. My question, obviously, was, well, why? And he kept saying, I keep going the cheap route. I keep buying all these different CNC machines. I keep going cheap in the sense that there are four to $6,000 machines. Uh, and then when there's an issue with them, that there's not replacement parts, but more importantly, those cheaper machines are made out of cheaper components and it is so important that your machine is made out of quality components because the quality of the components determines the accuracy of the machine and the repeatability of a machine. And what's the point of having a CNC if it's not very accurate or if when you go to make parts that are supposed to be duplicates of one another that each one is slightly different than the other. The pieces that make up the gantry and the legs and everything on a machine are super important because it has to be incredibly solid. And this machine is not going anywhere. And how much does it cost? Well, all in, this particular machine, which is a two foot by four foot pro model, so it's it's the entry level of their highest line of machines because of its smaller size, is about eighteen thousand dollars by the time you buy the machine, the spindle, all of the router bits. I had to get a PC, had to get the software, had to get a monitor, and all of that stuff. So I think my all in cost is anywhere I would say between sixteen and eighteen thousand dollars for a machine like this. But the thing about the fact that I spent all this money on the machine is I've never once regretted the purchase and I've never had a single issue with it. And when I first bought it, I didn't use it a whole lot because obviously A, I was learning how to use it, but I was also trying to figure out what I could use it for. But over the course of the last, I'd say three years, it has been used daily and it has been used longer and longer throughout the day up to the point now where it's running about, I'd say six to eight hours four days a week and I've never had a single issue with it and more importantly the pieces that come off of it are dead accurate. We recently um, cut a giant batch of guitar necks for our title casters and we did ten of them um, and as I pulled them off and I was quality checking them with my micrometer like the depths of the pockets I was able to see that uh, what were we met we were like within uh, we were within a hundredth of an inch mm -hmm. on every single one of them which for wood is really really good um, metalworking CNC machines are uh, you know up to a thousandth of an inch but it's never let me down and it's been fantastic part of the thing that make this machine really useful for me as a builder as well is the fact that I had to assemble it all completely by myself. This thing showed up in giant boxes along with QR codes as you shoot video or with videos of showing you how to put it all together. So I had to assemble it myself, which as the owner of this machine, now I know how to take it apart and how to service it myself too. So that's a really nice feature as well. <laughs> These 
paint handles are looking super good. Uh, just one little stick here, one little four foot stick of walnut actually got me six paint handles off of it. Still got some more work to do, but it does bring to a point that I wanted to make about this machine. When I first bought it five years ago, in my mind, I was gonna be using it every day for doing guitar building, but then once I kinda of got it all set up and went through kind of the initial boot camp of learning how to actually use the machine, it was like, okay, cool. Ah, time to build something, and I was like, well, crap, I don't actually know what one useful thing that I can make an acoustic guitar out of on the CNC machine is. But what actually became the number one purpose for this machine at that point was remaking all of my jigs and templates because my guitars at that point were only as accurate as the templates that I had made, and all of those templates were made by hand. So by their very nature, they were gonna have little inconsistencies with them. So what I set out to do probably the first three or four months that I owned this machine was just to piece by piece go through and remake all of those things. But what was really cool is that I started to see this kind of gradual shift in the way that my brain worked from making things kind of linearly uh, from the beginning of the guitar to the end to kind of thinking of it kind of holistically in a systematic way. If I can create a system where each step of the guitar process leads into the next step and it is using jigs and holding methods and tools that I have made on the CNC machine here in house, what I'll end up with is a very accurate acoustic guitar at the end that is almost physically identical to any other guitar in my line where I'm still having the ability to do all the hand voicing and the, sh like the hand carving of the neck and things like that. So over the years, that's really been one of the most surprising things about this CNC machine. It's made all of those like peripheral items that allow my guitars to be better, better, which in in the end makes my guitars better. It's not necessarily this machine is building my acoustic guitars for me. It's just making them better. Well, and you'd also say too, like nowadays, if you think of a tool that you need, you don't, the first place you don't necessarily go is online to look and see if someone yeah. else makes it. You can just make it yourself. Make it right? myself, yeah. yeah. And, and not only can I make it myself, but once I have designed it, I've got it forever. And that leads me to one of the other questions that I get all the time is what kind of software am I using? Well, the number one software that I use on my CNC machine is one called VCarve Pro. Yeah, it's a $600 piece of software. It's not nearly as capable as things like uh, SolidWorks or Fusion 360, but this, this software right here actually gets me by, what do you say, Matt, probably 80 to 90% of the things that we do in this shop, I actually use this software for. It's really good for kind of um, flat woodstock things, uh, what they call 2.5D um, carving, and it has been absolutely wonderful for me. And that kind of also ties into what I want to mention about all of the things, uh, the tools and the jigs. Um, one of the accidental things that happened over the probably the first year of me owning this CNC machine was as I kind of came up with a template for my soundboards and then a template for my necks, what I realized was like, oh wow, I'm actually developing inside my computer a digital version of what one of my acoustic guitars looks like, not just the dimensions, but like how they all connect together. So I eventually got to the point where I had designed every single component of my acoustic guitar inside VCarve and what that allowed me to be able to do was to just grab one individual piece that I needed to make and then program that. It's also done things for me like if I had custom cases made, like um, Calton makes custom cases for me, I could just send them a digital copy of what my blueprint for my guitar looks like or heck the t-shirts that we sell uh, on our YouTube channel. Those are all actually from digital files inside VCarve. Um, so it's been really, really useful for me. And if a client has a specific request for something on a guitar, they want to make the lower bout a little bit smaller or the sound hole bigger, all it takes is a tiny little design change for me to do inside VCarve, and I've got that. So um, it's been interesting. It's kind of like a frog boiling in water. When I first got the machine, I didn't necessarily know how to use it or what to use it for. And here I am five years later, and I don't think that there's a single thing in this shop, whether it's a guitar or the things that help me build the guitars is not in one way or another impacted by this machine. And not just physically, but mentally. I think of things completely differently now. Uh, and it is just one of the many reasons why this has been the best investment that I've ever made in my workshop. Okay, the last thing I need to do is a little roundover operation on these paint sticks. Um, but I do want to hit on a few more things about owning a CNC machine. I know that uh, for many people, obviously, the prospect of spending $20,000 on a tool for your shop is just absolutely outrageous. But I think in order to justify using a CNC machine, you need to think of it as more than just another tool. 
This actually can be thought of as more of an employee. And that brings me to another point about owning this machine is once you have all of the pieces programmed into your computer, they're there in perpetuity. And if you'd like to, and if you have the space and the means, you could actually bring somebody else in to run the CNC machine, which is actually the reason why we brought Matt in here in the actual first place. It was like, it's like a stepping stone for us. Well, we'll yeah. have him run the CNC machine. And at the time we were making charcuterie trays um, to just grease the wheels here in the shop, even though we are a guitar shop, but we have bills to pay. So that's a really an interesting way of thinking of the machine other than just a machine. It's actually a, a robotic employee that once it's all in the system, it's in there forever. And it just makes it very nice. For example, we're actually able now to knock out parts that we can sell to you guys. We made these paint handles um, for our trip up to Ohio to go do that video shoot with Stu Mac, and we've had so many people ask for them that we're actually able to make them now and make them available to you guys to purchase. And it's not a whole lot of the ask for us to do that in an afternoon because we can just throw some wood onto the machine, push enter, and it cuts it out for us. It's just another reason why owning that CNC machine over the course of the last five years has not only paid for itself, but has actually brought in a profit for us at the same time and has made us more and more capable of doing things, whatever a customer wants, really. So we're gonna do one more operation on these paint sticks to make them look real nice, and then we'll show you what they look like in the end. it for one of these paint handles. I think we have spent 30 minutes and we've knocked out six of them. And it's just a fantastic illustration of how CNC helps us in our shop every single day. And uh, if you're interested in getting one of these, make sure you check them out on driftwoodguitars.com slash tonewoods where we have them available as well as many fantastic tonewoods for your guitar building at home. Um, but what I want to do before we close this out is once again drive home that point that my buddy made all those years ago about getting into using CNC in your shop. And that is, if you're gonna do it, don't try to cut corners. Go with the machine that's gonna be for your every machine right out of the gate. Do your research, figure out what it is that your needs are, how big is your shop, what do you think that you'll be making on it, and buy a high quality industrial level machine that's going to be uh, able to grow with you as your business grows. Um, when I made that original purchase of this machine, like I said, it was upwards of $18,000 to get into it. But here I stand with the hindsight of five years behind me, and I think that it was hands down the most significant and important purchase that I've ever made in this workshop because what has it allowed me to do is to bring people in like Matt. I don't... I would have never been able to bring him in here without a machine like this because I wouldn't have had anything for him to do. It has also assisted us in so many ways of building uh, high quality acoustic guitars that are repeatable, that are even higher quality than they would be if I was doing them completely by hand. It's allowed us to launch a line of electric guitars, which I never would have foreseen when I originally bought this machine. It's allowed us to do these paint handles and all these extra things that we're now making available for you guys to purchase at home. So has it been worth it? Yes, a million times over. I've paid for this machine probably in the first year or two of my ownership of it, and now it's making money for me every single day. Um, but the one thing that I do want to say to you if this has been something that's been uh, kind of creeping into the back of your mind of maybe I should get a CNC machine, is that you don't know what you don't know. I know that that's kind of an overused and oversimplified way of saying it, but you really don't. You think that you're gonna get into CNC to make your woodworking life easier for the projects you're currently working on, but I encourage you to really try to expand your mind and to realize that a machine like this is gonna open up a whole world of possibilities for you. And so let your mind go crazy and start to realize that something like this is gonna open up a lot of opportunities for you as a woodworker and potentially as a business owner. So I hope that this little short video helped answer some of your questions and encourages you guys to think about getting one of these bad boys if you are able to do so. And uh, we'll be talking about this machine more in future videos and uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see y'all in the next one.